Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. Welcome, successors, to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I'm your host, TEDx speaker and best-selling author, Jonathan Jones. And today, as we're preparing to head into the new year really quick, I want to make sure, one, that you had an opportunity to listen to our episode last week where we sat down to interview Marcus Gilmore. We talked about National Goal Writing Day. And then also, we had the opportunity for him to challenge us and charge us as we prepare to go into the new year to write out our goals and hold us accountable to those. If you haven't had the opportunity to listen to the interview, I would encourage you to go so and do that. Or check out the episode on our YouTube channel, Jonathan Jones Speaks. And we have us sitting down with Marcus interviewing him. And now I also want to just drop for you a quick clip. This is going to be a clip that we're dropping for the podcast. If you want to listen to it, that's perfectly fine. But I would encourage you to watch it on YouTube. And this one today, we're talking about outliers. We're talking about your circle. And I want you just to really get the opportunity to watch this clip and think about who is in your circle or four corners, as I called it, that shouldn't be here going forth in a new year. Who is somebody in your life that you know you need to call up? You need to lean on them. You need them in your corner. And then lastly, I also want to talk about just an outlier and how you are an outlier, how you deserve success and how you can achieve it. Really quick, we're going to play the clip. And then we're going to come back with you just after that. But outside of even that, one thing I'm I'm beginning to realize is really probably one of the most important things for us to know is a support system. A support system is what I like to call four corners. Because when I was in grad school, when I started out, the advisor called me to her office, said, Mr. Jones, Have a seat. Please close the door. What? Yeah, just just pull the door. Uh, Okay. She said, Mr. Jones, I just, I just don't understand. What don't you understand? She just paused. I was like, what did, what don't you understand? She said, Mr. Jones, you're writing. Your writing is weak. Oh, tell me how you really feel. And as I'm sitting there and then, I'm dumbfounded. She's holding my paper and looking at me, saying it doesn't add up. What is this? Paper had all the red marks going down it. And I'm sitting there looking at this woman and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're my advisor. You're supposed to be encouraging me. Supposed to give me the pat on the back, say, come on, John, you can do it. Just keep showing up. Just try a little bit harder. Apply a little bit more effort. You need to do this, and then everything will be okay. But she wanted to instead cut me at the knees. Does anybody know anybody like that? Like you know people where you're expecting them to encourage you. You're expecting them to push you along. You're expecting them to help guide you through because that's what they're supposed to do. But Instead, they just taking your legs out. Then I was like, wait, so what, what's happening? She said, your paper is terrible. And then she said, I'm looking at the bottom of your email. Your email says you're a best-selling author. Best-selling author according to who? I said, according to Amazon, is Amazon best-selling author? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory to put the words together and there it is. She said, well, why doesn't, why doesn't it translate? It should translate over here. Your, your paper should not look like this. I said, I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause you know, when you're having a conversation with somebody, you have to be respectful because they're a professor, they're in this position and you want to show respect because I believe everybody deserves to be respected. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Because I almost had like an outer body experience. You know how like in TV you see people and like something crazy happens, like in Deadpool, like it goes crazy. And then he comes back to himself and he's like, okay, okay, I'm here. 
So before I had my Deadpool situation, I had to say, wait a minute. I was like, I, I got my paper edited probably once. Once or twice, maybe. Once, it was once. But then I said, how do you expect me to put the amount of effort into this paper that I put into this book? I had the book edited six or seven times. The whole moral of that story is after I was left broken, I had to pick up the pieces. And I had to then begin to ask myself, I said, who, who is the individual that's in my four corners. Because four corners, we know, are in this room. Four corners are on a house. Four corners represent security. Four corners represent support. Four corners represent covering. It catches you from every angle so you're protected on every side. But in order for each of us to excel and exceed as effective leaders, because I believe good leaders are outliers. And an outlier, for those of you who may or may not know, on a graph, this is typically what the stats look like, average outlier. I believe each of you all have this potential, but it's not attainable if you don't make sure that your four corners are secure. You have to make sure you're protected from every side. After I had that conversation with that professor and after she had me upset, I went home and I, I cried a little bit. It hurt because I was really expecting her to encourage me. I had to first go to my best friend. His name is Mahari. I was like, Mahari, man, what do I do? Because after this semester, I still have to go back to the same advisor. After this semester, I'm still gonna go back and talk to her again because she's gonna help me with the next, what do I do? He said, John, he said, that sucks. Let's be honest, that sucks. But he said, however, it's the professor's job to instruct you and to teach you. It's not her job to be your friend. And I was like, man, that's, um, that's kind of rough. Because people in your four corners, they tell you things sometimes you don't necessarily want to hear. People in your four corners, they help sharpen you. Like they say, iron sharpens iron. They help keep you sharp. Then I had to go to another person. I had to go to my counselor, my therapist, because I was hurting. I was hurting. And I told him, he said, John, well, I really don't even understand that. How do you feel about that? Let's talk about it. He helped me see it from another perspective, from another angle, from another side. Because your four corners could be a close friend, could be a relative, could be a professor, could be a mentor, could be a spiritual advisor, whatever that looks like. But understanding that you're a leader and you're an outlier, y'all are here. This is what average looks like. We know average doesn't take effort. Average is just showing up. Average is sometimes not even writing your name on the paper. Goodness. But when we get up here, we have to understand that it takes a different level of community, a different level of relationship. Because some of us in here have some toxic friends that we bumped up in our four corners, but they did nothing to be there. I know I've made some bad decisions. I've moved some people in my four corners who had no reason being there. Sometimes they just made me feel good because they told me what I wanted to hear. Then when the rubber met the road and I needed something, I gave them a call. They didn't answer. When I asked for something, they couldn't provide it. Friends, now I want you to take a little bit of time today and just identify who is in your four corners because as we prepare to go into 2019 you can't afford to bring some people in who shouldn't have been there in 2018 you can't afford to carry some people on your back in 2019 you can't afford to put your head down and do the work that's required knowing that you're bringing people along in your camp knowing that you have all these other people 
that shouldn't even be there. So today I want you to take some time and just identify who is in your four corners and should they be there. Do they have your best interest at heart? If you called them, just like I said in the clip, if you called them, would they answer? Because in 2019, you need some people who are secure. In 2019, you need some people who are going to hold you down. In 2019, you need some people that's going to be there to help you wipe those tears away. So, friends, thank you for taking the time and listening to our Mo Monday Motivation this week. We went a little bit long today because I wanted you just to understand that as you prepare to go forward into 2019, you need to eliminate some things. And also, I want the best for you. So, friends, today I want you to take a moment and identify who's in your four corners. <clears throat> and then on top of that, I want you to share this episode with one friend that you know needs to hear this message. Share this episode with one person that you know needs to hear from you today. All right, friends, this is TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones telling you to have a happy new year, telling you to position yourself for success. We're going to sign out like we always do. Speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way? Thank you.